Hey guys, today we'll be looking at using Depth Map X to undergo visibility graph analysis. So visibility graph analysis relates to creating visual, uh, visually graphed data based on the visual qualities of certain areas <coughs> from within a space. Um, you'll be able to see the best visual points from within an environment based on the heat map that it will produce. So to start off with you need to download the program that can be done through finding this page here, Spaced Syntax Online. Then you look under Software and Manuals and you find the Depth Map link. So once you get to this page here, you just have to go to Download Depth Map X. Uh, click that, it'll bring you to this page here. Just scroll down and download the one that you need for your operating system. So I downloaded this one here because I'm running Windows 64. Once you've downloaded Depth Map X and you've opened the folder and launched the program and run it, you can open this workspace. So to start a new visibility graph analysis, all you have to do is go to this top left hand corner here and click new, or just go to file new. So we brought this screen and then in here you'll be able to import the files that you want to analyze for a visibility analysis. So for this example I've got a pre-made um, visual that I'm going to import and I'll just go up to this button here, the import button, it's two to the right of the new button, click that and I'll open a file that I prepared earlier. It opens DXF files so you'll have to create one of those from your Illustrator files if you're working with Illustrator. So as you can see here I've got a whole lot of lines so the squares of the buildings and then you've got roads. Um, as I've created an Illustrator with layers, I'm able to hide layers that I don't want to see uh, just by unchecking the boxes. So I'll get rid of the streets because they make the visual a bit busy and not very necessary for this sort of analysis. And then I might get rid of the train line as well. So now that I've just got the buildings, I'll be able to get a visual analysis based on um, the area in between the buildings and then you will find the rich areas for visual data from within this environment. So to do that what I have to do to start off with is create a grid and see it here the set grid button. Uh, that can also be done by going to tools visibility set grid. So this window will open up and it will come up with a default 10 by 10 grid spacing. You can change it to whatever you like, but we'll keep it with the default spacing for now. Now we've got a grid set up over our visual. Go up to the paint bucket and we'll make sure it's on standard fill. Now we've got on standard fill, we have the option of clicking in between the buildings or within the buildings themselves to the visibility graph analysis. Um, as we want to see the visual qualities between the buildings, we'll click outside the buildings and that will let us select this area on the outside. Once we've selected that, all we have to do is go up to Tools, Visibility and Make Visibility Graph. And we'll come up with the Window Make Graph options. You don't really have to click anything in here, all we have to do is click OK. That might take a moment, but we'll get a visibility graph like that. So now that we've got this VGA map like this, we need to do one more step to create the analysis. By doing that, we have to go to Tools, Visibility, and Run Visibility Graph Analysis. Here we have to click Calculate Visibility Relationships and click Global Measures. 
Um, when it says select the radius, um, I can just put in N as the number and click OK. This process might take a little bit, so I'll fast forward it. So now that that's done, uh, we are able to see the actual visibility graph analysis. Uh, this visual is able to be exported just by going to edit export screen and then following the prompts. As you can see here, the red areas are the visually rich areas, whereas the blue are the visually poor areas. So that's just a tutorial on how to do a visibility graph analysis.